Hi, I'm Christopher Baker, the Medical Director of the Ventilator Care Program at Children's Hospital Colorado. Today you will learn more about what you can expect from our program. From the moment your child is referred for chronic ventilation care, all the way through your trip home. We know that you have many options for your child's care, and we appreciate the opportunity to partner with your family. You can trust us to be there with you and your child every step of the way on the road to a healthier life. Your road to specialized care at the Ventilator Care Program at Children's Hospital Colorado begins when your ICU doctors consult the pulmonary and ENT specialists. If you and your medical team decide that your child needs long-term ventilation, we will begin discussing a tracheostomy, commonly known as a trach. A surgical procedure that creates an airway in the front of the neck and into the windpipe. We will provide you with all the program information and answer any questions that you might have. Once your family and medical team agree that a tracheostomy is the next best step, your child will undergo surgery to have the device placed by an ENT surgeon. Then your child will return to the ICU to allow for time to heal. It will be at least a week before your child is transferred out of the ICU. In some cases, it could be a lot longer. After surgery, your child will likely be on an ICU ventilator that can only be used in the hospital. Once stable with the new trach, your child will be switched to a portable ventilator, which can be used at home. Once your child is stabilized, you and your medical team will have a transition care conference. If possible, the home nursing agency you have chosen will also attend this meeting. Our ultimate goal is for you to leave our care feeling confident and capable with your new team, but we will always be here for you to help in your continuum of care. Now that your child is no longer critically ill, the focus shifts from stabilizing your child's life-threatening conditions to learning the very important skills you'll need to safely care for your child at home. A child on a ventilator at home needs an alert, awake, and trained adult caregiver present at all times. Because this is nearly impossible for families to do on their own, we rely heavily on home nursing agencies. Our case managers will give you the opportunity to interview and decide on potential nurses before you go home. Finding the right nurse to meet your family's needs can take some time, so we start this step as soon as possible. In addition to learning about the trach and vent, you will also learn how to feed your child and give medications. And most children will work with physical, occupational, and speech therapists to help them embrace living with their trach. You will be very involved in this process. If your child is able, we may try a one-way valve which can help with speaking and eating. We know that this transition is one that will have an impact on the whole family unit. So our wonderful child life specialist will be there to help teach siblings about the patient's health needs and what life at home will be like. They also help empower siblings with knowledge on what to do in case of an emergency. While your child is getting stronger in the hospital, you will need to get your home ready with all the equipment necessary to provide safe care. Back at the hospital, we will continue to place a very heavy emphasis on educating you to care for your child. This includes learning CPR and practicing on a mannequin that has a trach. To further your comfort level, a respiratory therapist will help you practice getting outside and moving around the hospital with your child and their equipment. Before going home, you will be able to practice responding to emergencies in our one-of-a-kind simulation lab with a high-tech mannequin. You will debrief with a team member to talk about how it went and what can be done to make sure you know what to do when different scenarios happen at home. You'll also practice transporting your child in your vehicle. You and a respiratory therapist will go on a car ride together. Finally, your family will be invited to spend 24 to 72 hours providing all your child's cares. This will give you a chance to practice everything you have learned while still being under the observation of your medical team. During this independent stay, you will be responsible for responding to alarms, giving medications, feedings, and tending to all your child's needs. And just before you leave, we'll conduct a discharge care conference 
so you can meet with your home nursing team and make sure that everything is ready for your arrival. We'll want to ensure you are 100% comfortable with the plan. We have now reached the end of the Ventilator Care Program Roadmap, and it is time for your family to go home. Our favorite part is seeing the smiles on our patients' faces as they confidently walk into their new life with a trach. While it is a long road, you will be supported every step of the way. We look forward to walking this path to a healthier tomorrow with you.